Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mike Honora again. Yes, from Empire Trading, and it's yet another video. Now it's been a while I dropped it three weeks ago, but uh, I'm back. Yeah. Last week, um, last previous two videos, I talked about um Kimba and I said I was gonna take um a profit trailer center. I was gonna try that challenge. Though I've tried it before, I was gonna try it for the public to see how this company really is, that they are here to stay how they are, the challenge system, the payout system and everything. So I took the challenge last three weeks and I'm here to report on how, how the challenge is going because I know some of you will be asking, yeah, the challenge, what's up, how far, stuff like that. So, but yes, and that's what today's video is all about and the lessons I learned while taking all these processes and challenge. So now, I was unable to hit the target, ah, unfortunately, yeah, but I didn't lose the account, so I was granted a free retrial for the account, which I'm going to start next week, because next week I just want a fresh week to start everything, though I've not hit the, um, I've not hit the, um, the, the 30 days mark, I think this is the 27th day, it's just many three days, but I managed to scale up my account back above break even, so I don't go below that, so to lose the account so i'll start everything next week so the account quite very it was very very adventurous lots of <laughs> ups and downs like man i was manipulated in the market during my losing streak during the cpi they, they wicked me up like they, like week from nowhere this week was no real there's no real yeah, real real market data a real i checked like three um Brokers, FXCM, um, Forex.com, um, Oanda, these guys didn't wake up. Even on my other accounts where I placed same trades, they didn't wake up. I'll drop a screenshot here, yeah, you could just see it and everything. So that even ended up in a loss and also in a slippage. They made me lose more than I was. <laughs> I even risked too. But it's part of the game, yeah, it's part of the game. It's what we face in the market, it's what we see in the market. And we traders, we take these risks, we know these things happen. So we'll just take this week and move on to the next. So without further ado, let's just head to the um whole MT5 history and their dashboard and just see what's happening there. So let's head. This is their dashboard, my corner are verified and everything. I have um the minimum days 15 sources and everything. Um daily loss allowance. I didn't lose below five percent. My max loss was um one minus one hundred. This was the lowest I went to the account more than five percent do. Then my target eighty three. So I didn't hit and I didn't break any martingale rule. This martingale they give you two try um, chances. So if you lose, if you go above or go beyond the two chances they've given you, then you've lost the account. So but yeah, that's what that's what the whole account system looks like. And this was the whole this was the whole um history call it bagley history and everything so what makes you qualified for a retrial you have to be above profit above your starting balance you don't have to break bridge any rule you have to meet the minimum days or to go below and uh, hit the daily loss limits you don't have to go beyond your martingale rule so let's go to the mt5 yeah now in the mt5 what happened i started I started with AED USD trying to sell with 0.01 to pass the minimum day. Then I had the first loss of $258. That was basically one point so something percent by I made it back. Then the previous um then the tr next trade was cheap for AUD, which I lost $427. Then okay. Then I lost also I minimum days, minimum days. Then I made $658 from Euro AUD. Um Euro GPY. I lost this. But if you if you could just like notice something in my history, I, I kept on like as time went on, I was losing basically very high after every profit. So what I tried doing here was that I was just trying to risk all the profits I had made. Though that I just wants I wanted to make good use of my profits, risk them and hit the challenge ASAP, but it didn't work so but it didn't work here 
So as traders, we have enough room to try anything we want to try. But the main thing, the main paramount thing is to manage your risk. So here, well, I, how did I manage my risk? I managed my risk in the sense that so long I didn't go below my balance, I was going to risk my profit. So I was just going to be losing my profit. But when I went below my balance, I kept on risking 1%. I could not risk more than 1% below my profit. So so if you want to try it out, you can try it out. It's a faster way to try and pass the challenge, but it has its own cons. The cons is that you're always at break even. If you have not passed the challenge, you'll be at break even because you risk the whole profit and break even. And the danger with that, when you start facing losing streak, you might just be around break even. Then you now go start going down, 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 and you lose the challenge. That's just the con. But the pro is that once you hit, you just need two trades, one to three, then the three percent to risk it, one to two, that's six percent, you're making nine percent, passing the whole challenge. That's what we call asymmetrical way of passing your challenge. But now it didn't work here. I don't know why. So this was where I was manipulated, GPA during the CPI. <coughs> during the CPI data, they wake me up, hit my stop loss, which <laughs> it was weak. Uh, the picture is there. I'll send the screenshot there. I'll, I'll put the screenshot there. The um, stop loss was just weak. And I take other brokers, like three, I, as I mentioned earlier. None of this happened. But I was weak. This happened when I was facing losing trade. I really lost the position before then. Because, um, I really lost the position here before then, so they helped me lose another position, which was meant to be a winner to bring me up. But I lost the position then early Monday this um this um this week I lost another um almost more than almost one point three percent. Then I was down almost five percent. Then I had to keep my sheet to get there to bring up my account back up. So I made almost five percent there to bring my accounts up here. So it's just a dump ride. But the thing is that we play smart, we want to lose the challenge, we have room to try again and try again and try again without paying any fees, so we should make good advantage of that. If you want to go for any prop firm, if you want to, any prop firm at all, I advise you check for this year, retrial, MFF does extension, but CCA doesn't do extension, just give you a retrial. So that's why I was not even really bothered about um, keeping high profit because if you were going to be like 4% off, you do try and start from the base balance. But MFF gives extension. So you have to check all these pro firms. Any pro firm you want to go to, do they give extension? Do they give retrial? If they give retrial, just that is like a second edge because you know that you can retry this thing no matter if you hit the challenge or not. So it relieves you the pressure of hitting the challenge very, very fast. Right? Yeah, so I know some of you will see on YouTube, see on social media, I pass my challenge in five hours, I pass my challenge in three hours. That isn't an achievement for me. I don't feel like that's an achievement for me because everybody can pass a challenge. In, in, like the next minute you can pass a challenge, but that doesn't mean you've really passed the challenge. The, the challenge is you passing their test, bringing out money from this consistently. And if you cannot do that, you feel the challenge, no matter if you pass your first one in, in two seconds, they don't give you any award. They don't come and say, this trader passed this account in three seconds. He's, you should give him an award. An award for that doesn't exist. So you shouldn't put yourself under this pressure that this trader passed his challenge or a challenge very fast in the under one day, two days. I don't feel like it's something like it's an achievement though. I don't feel it's an achievement. Just make the challenge pass through you and also pass through the challenge because the challenge makes you grooms you in a lot of way discipline perseverance psychology all these things that's just the pro of this problem to just make you develop these attributes unconsciously so make this challenge pass through you so you can develop yourself as a trader in the future also right so don't just go so so far in this video and this one make it short just give you an update for where i am right right now right now i'll be taking a retrial I'll be taking a retrial everything so i'll try again and i'll keep you guys still posted when i pass the challenge and everything first payout and everything i'll keep you guys posted without taking your time also if you don't like this please do like this, this video do subscribe if you don't subscribe please subscribe turn on the post notification on and I'll catch you in the next series.